Hey, what's up, guys? I have a quick little unboxing. Well, as quick as I can make it. I can't, like, I can't talk faster than like four minutes, so we'll try to be faster than that, but we won't anyway. So anyway, here is um, the Eureka release of Night of the Creeps. It was released in the UK um, and in Europe and around the world, I suppose, on the 8th of October, I think. Today's the 22nd or 21st. Shit. Hold on, I can't read my clock. And um, so it's a couple weeks later than release date but of course it was shipped across the, the world so it just took a while to get here so i have not seen this film i have not owned this film i've seen a copy of this in the um uh best buys five dollar or 5.99 bin for ages and i just never got around to buying it i've heard well i've heard mostly good things mixed things i guess to a point but uh, I, like i said i haven't i haven't seen it i know nothing about it i don't know it's just got like a zombie thing going on and it's all creeps and stuff and I thought, why the hell not? I got it from Zabby. I don't think it's an exclusive to Zabby, but, you know. It tends to be where I buy my UK stuff. I haven't bought anything on Amazon UK in a while. I do like the slipcover stuff, though, too. And that's the image I'm used to seeing. I like the two different slipcovers. I mean, the two different cover arts. Very cool. Let's move this quick because it's a little clearer. Night of the Creeps. When an alien experiment goes awry, it crashes to Earth in 1959 and infects a young college student. So it's an alien who experimented on something, and whatever it was, it crashes to Earth. Or did humans may have an experiment and it crashes back to Earth? I don't know. Anyway, 27 years later, his cryogenically frozen body. Wait, what? There's like no space here after the a comma here. What the fuck ever. Uh, is thought out by fraternity pledges and the what? Is thought out by fraternity pledges and the campus is quickly overrun by alien creatures whose victims come back as zombies. Fred Decker's supremely enjoyable throwback chiller deftly combines classic horror and sci-fi elements with delicious humor and loving in jokes. And you can tell it's British because the humor is spelled with a U. And color, I think, is on here too, right? I swear, yeah, color with a U. Those wacky Brits. Um, presented for the first time on Blu-ray and DVD in H excuse me, on Blu-ray and DVD in UK, this deluxe edition features the original director's cut and a host of special features. That's cool. High definition remaster of the director's cut. So just like I unboxed Monkey Shines a minute ago, and um, it says high definition, not 4K or 2K. So that must mean it's a uh, typical scan. I don't know if this was not released in the UK up to this point, but obviously it was in the US, and I think maybe it's the same scan. Excuse me. Um, I'm not going to read those, though, because it's a lot of crap. So if you want to read those, you can pause and look at it. Lots of cool stuff. I don't know if there's anything new on here. And this is a Fred Decker film. And Tom Atkins is in it as well. Cool. So let's open this up. There is the Blu-ray with the new artwork. It says Region B. I would assume it probably is, but I've noticed a lot of times that these are these tend to be... um. Region free for whatever reason, but I guess I don't know for sure. It says region B, so if you wanted to buy this, I would recommend either having a region free pay player or obviously having a region B player. Clearly. And just like, um, um, what was it? Monkey Shines? Um, it's kind of a thick booklet. Booklet, I can speak. I like this image of the hand going through the door. This Tom Atkins looks like exactly the same in all those films. Very cool looking, I thought. Like a, like, like a zombie film, but not, but like an alien zombie. What the fuck? Damn, I should watch this tonight. Nice. Oop, shit. Got some posters. Yeah, nice posters for the film. Night of the Creeps. If you scream, you're dead. Really? Meets the Monster Squad. Cool. Hmm. And production notes. Viewing notes. Huh. Headless corpse found in front of Kappa Delta. Damn, this is, is this a, it's a comedy? It seems like it's a comedy. Did it say comedy? Classic horror and sci-fi elements with delicious, okay, yeah, delicious humor, that's why. And loving in-jokes. So it's definitely got a comedy vibe, too. So no wonder. That's cool. Cool, though. Yeah, that's it. Um, I guess it's a little faster than I usually do. But 
um, like I said, I haven't seen it, so I can't give like an opinion of the film. I just heard that the transfer, if this is the transfer that they took from the U.S., um, is just so-so. So, so-so-so. So, so. Um, but I mean, whatever. I guess the, I've, I've, I've watched DVDs and shit, so what's the difference? So, that's it. So yeah, nothing else to say really. I guess um, uh, I'm looking forward to watching this at some point. I, I guess I don't know if I said it was 14.99 uh, pounds or so. I think with shipping it was about 15.99, and so that's about 22 dollars American, I think, approximately. I can't really count. So I could have, if it's the same transfer and the same features and shit, I could have very, very easily bought this in the U.S. or somewhere else for less than 10 bucks. So that's just on me. I got a special slipcover and like a booklet. I guess that's cool. I paid an extra 10 bucks for that. I guess, but. Oh well, I didn't own the film. And I haven't seen it, so it's more cool, more fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you again later. I got more shit to unbox for you, if you were interested in that. If you're not, then I guess I'll never see you again. But thanks for watching, guys, and take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.